I was going to put this in the description of the last video I put up where I'm wearing this shirt and flexing my muscles like this. But I would rather just try and talk about it. This is called Buddhism, by the way, and I'm a master. So I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. Really, here, let me just jog my memory. It's not really my concern. I'm so much more ahead than this. There's something that I need to get to, which is my life, my real life. And when I do, I can come back to you and say, hey, this is what it's like. And I think people are 35 years away from the whole society knowing what just a few people know. You know, we want to maintain feeling good here. We want to maintain disease-free. And right now, it's just complicating to see how do we do that. We look angry. We look frustrated. It's like, no. These are healthy responses to a profoundly sick thing happening. Excuse me. I'm fine. How about you? Well, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Are you? No? Uh, you don't feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing? Well, get on it, man. You should be feeling like really pumped full of energy because you've done the right thing and that's just for your mind you surrendered to the truth bingo that last video i come up with what that is and i'm going to type it right here in this video because this is the truth i'm pretty sure i'm on it i'm only speaking from the one side of the organism, potentially human, potentially human, humane, because I'm pretty sure only human beings would talk about this type of thing. It's called enlightenment. And it's like, I, I, you call me an asshole, but it's like, you can't touch it. I don't need you, and but you need me. So having said this, please, I, I'm doing it a very old-fashioned way, and I think probably it's the only way. Can you help me out? Can you help you out? Did it help you? See, if you're just plainly a moneymaker, you're probably really miserable, and this information is helping you. I can't tell if this is going on right, but look at it, please. Okay? A few dollars will work. This is work that I'm doing. I'm actually, this work right here, it's probably, it is so hard to do because you can't have anything to do with the world. Hi, Jesus. Did you have everything to do with the world and, and everybody still loved you, huh? Girl, you seem confused, but actually you're my favorite one. I'll be right there. Anyway, just making a little sacrifice. Really, I don't. I have been rendered completely alone and then subjected to, it seems that all that comes to me, babes, is the ones that aren't curable. And the angel, Christ Jesus, or whoever, says, and these are the ones that I just <laughs> trash. They're not worthy of me and they're not worthy of you. See. When love finds you worthy, it can guide your course 100%. This means you have surrendered, not just your mind, but now your body. You don't have one hand in one place and one hand in the other. No, you have taken with both hands an involvement that is here already, and I call it organization. How do you like that? It's called organization. It's already here. I could start drawing out for you why I think this is the truth and how you're never going to knock me off of this, in fact. You need to get onto it. You have an organ, let alone your entire body holds like a vessel or a cup, a U. That's the symbol of the U. All of these other organs, and they could become diseased very easily by way of, let's say, your mind is programmed in such a way that says um, something and uh, it believes that that's the truth, and then now it starts directing your body into disease, period. That's where you never, ever let this organ be the organizer. You let the truth be the organizer. And then if you're using this right, you're containing the way that it was and how it went. It's not usually just like any one thing, like, I don't think. 
It's just more like, how did I learn that? Okay, so remember how it came about that I learned it properly. That's pretty much generally it. Yeah, you know, because the experience is enough. You know, you, you're not lost to it. You're in a body. Now we're turning four. Oh, somebody told you no at the wrong time. Ooh, that fucking hurts. So anyway, not a very good organization because a heart would know better. Organ, organ. See, it's here already, Hans. I'm not kidding. You want to put an I there because the I, the lowercase I, is the only one that it, when I'm saying the lowercase I, I know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just somebody who pounces on the information when I get it and it doesn't make sense. But in two months, it's going to be so refined that I'm going to be so relieved. I'm going to be like, thank God, because I will find it's going to get a little maddening. I, mean, I think everybody is going to go into this strife when it's Pluto going back into Capricorn for the last time. And it's like this, like I said in the first video. No more air to breathe. We're not getting gaslit anymore. We see that there's a control system that finds it convenient to control something away from its possibility. And we are being hijacked and piggyback rode upon. You want to talk about the invasion of the body snatchers? Babe, all this is for, really, all of it is just... You know, we're struggling to maintain just a little bit of what our grandmothers were trying to tell us about how we should work with our hands and tell each other stories and look each other in the eye. And that's how we keep our possibility of being, you want a civilization or do you want to just be directed by something that's way over there and now you're just this robot and, and phew, it's lethal. It's lethal to the very potential that's here. It's the potential that's here. And it and, and more and more, like I said, it's just even that potential, even just a little small gratification that's done by having gotten into your body and done something that gave you a good feeling is being lost now. See, I don't like being able to see what I can see all the time. I mean, yeah, I would love to have been anesthetized by whatever it is that you people are on that doesn't allow you to even like this, let alone comment. Yeah, it seems like something is off a little bit. It, it, you know, I thought about it and, and I found a different way that was easier. See, this is the thing is this, that we can, you know, we're not talking enough about that. We're always talking about the downer that, that doesn't help. You have to hold up a cure. You have to say, there's something beyond the fear that you live. There's something beyond mind. There is the heart technology. It's already here, by the way. Don't worry. We didn't fall off the face of the earth. It's called organization. It's already here. That word would not be here unless, unless the benevolent beings from outer space were pointing at us. If you break it down and find out what's in that word, you have to know a little bit more. Like you have to know what a suffix is and you have to know what a prefix is. There's prefixes and suffixes. Suffixes are trippy because you, they're a little bit longer. You like you have ization or you have ism or you have ick or you have itty. You have to ponder it and, and see the thing is, is I'm not going to be stuck here being called crazy with this. Other people are going to be making breakthroughs. In fact, some people see that, see, when I do it right, and there's a way to do it right, they see it, they, it hits them, and they want to get into contact with me. Organization. Organization happening. I have the sense of my life as a process. It's like it gradually happens. And, and with an Aries, it's good to be impatient. The Aries is divinely impatient. It's already reached. It's actually being so patient with you. By the time it's gotten fed up, I hate to tell you, but you are a malignant fucking case because we have already won and we are dipping back and saying, and do you want to win too? Now that's your story of Jesus Christ right there who said, and this is possible for you too. It's actually nothing hocus pocus. Will you please leave that fucking kid alone? Mind your own business. What is it? 
this is so hard right now. It's so hard for me right now because all I need, all I need right now, because I'm well taken care of and I do not want, uh, see, I'm not the type. I'm not really the type, babe. I have been alive longer to know me. I take care of and I love with every fiber of my being. I feed into that which is taking care of me and feeding me. Now, I have a real God that I worship that has, see, that doesn't, that what I just said before I said this thing about worshiping God has nothing to do with people. The saying goes, if you can love, if you can love God more than your own children, if you love God more than your own children, you will never let them down. You will never let anybody down. You won't even let yourself down. Your life does not really feel like a complete sidestep to something. You know, you're not going to be forced into something that you don't want to be. You're not going to not be able to figure things out. You will be able to figure things out. You will be a problem solver. Now, this video, in this video, I'm only speaking from the, from the side of the organism, potentially humane, because both men and women could be narcissists, I guess, and human. That is the woman's, um, not a philosophy. The truth isn't a, isn't a philosophy. When I say get in the body, start um, organizing over the truth, that's not a philosophy. See, when you start philosophizing, that's when you have shut off and you say, well, I, I think it's this way. And I, then hope comes in and you know, all these ridiculous words, even your religions will come in. Most of it is that out there. It's the dominator. It says, well, I think we know. I'm just like, no, we can know. Open up. We can know. In fact, we already know. That's, that's what the Aquarius age is threatening to fucking... And the way it works for us babes, we don't just pop out of the womb and now it's like, oh God, we have to teach the child everything about civilization. No, in fact. If it's about this shitty fucking civilization that's been happening for, I think, oh. I'm, see, the way you look is you look at what has logged in. You look at the trees. How are the trees taken care of? See, in this forest here, I've come across, I think there's one tree that's near 800 to six, more like 600, maybe really only 400 years old, but more like 600. See, I'm saying that there was a meltdown not even a thousand years ago. That city-sized castles made of the same shit that they made the pyramids out of were melted down and destroyed. Why? What happened? We don't know, but we have some ruins left of the smaller ver versions. The bigger versions I'm sitting and living in now. You can't convince me, get, convince me that every single mountain is just pure geological formation because that formation looks black. It is lava rock. You see lava rock coming up out of the earth. There is another material that has been used includes mining the ore like crystal quartzite and other things that has built up a civilization that we can't see, but we are driving over the ruins if we just open our eyes and look at it again. And I'm also saying that maybe they were giants, but maybe they were all here because they lived in perception of what is governing all creation of creation, and that is the highest of highs, which is called love. It allows to the point where that can happen. The civilization that has is flying in and out of the atmosphere with machinery that when we, by the time we get here, it's completely Venetian, by the way. All you're doing here is celebrating. All you're doing is coming here, parking and diving in a pool and rejuvenating. And, and this is a place for healing. This is a place that provides everything we have need Nothing is missing from here. There isn't a, a scarcity ever until you start believing whatever it is out there that does not get along with that universe. 
it has a fake conversation for you about it. And that conversation, if you look at it deeply, it's really a fight. It's going against the fact. It's not celebrating anything with you. These people don't know what they're talking about when they say God, Christ, Holy Ghosts, this and that. You have to be watching out too because it's a mocking. When you say amen, all you're saying is, what is the words there? What does a sheep know? What do you know that is actually here? The word a means something. And then men? Let's let's reduce that down. Me. 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 I'm me me. I'm me me me. 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 Sorry. Women know better, babe. We can get together and tribe and take care of each other and say, oh, the hug, a halt, and uh, psh, what is that worth? And then what is that worth? And what is that worth again? And what? Huh? Not worth. Money doesn't have any value, babes. Skills do. What causes pleasure does.